While I'm out here today, the wind's nice and calm. I'm gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna do a little story time here. We're gonna talk about and gear review on these. These are the Costa Broadbills. Now, if you watched my earlier video, and I'll, I'll link it here. Oh, hold on a second. Back to the gear review. So if you've seen my uh, earlier videos, um, you know that um, I had a pair of Costas and broke them. I will say right out front, like I got the, pla I got the glass lenses uh, specifically because of the extra clarity. Uh, some people might not notice a difference. I do. Uh, the clarity is definitely better with the glass versus the plastic. You also don't have to deal with scratches, um, you know, unless you, you really hit it on something but you're not going to have to worry about kind of those little micro scratches that really, really interfere with the clarity of, of a set of glasses after a while. So I, um, you know, went with the glass lenses and you'll see in this video here, that ain't coming back out. that um, I break those lenses. And uh, I'll be honest with you, like it did not take very much pressure. I, I think one of the things with these costs is, these glass lenses, I think one of the reasons they are so clear is because it is not a very thick glass on there at all. Um, compared to my Ray-Bans, which are also a glass lens, these are substantially thinner. And uh, so if you put any um, you know, even just like a light to moderate amount of pressure right in the middle of that lens, uh, like what happened there where my rod butt just kind of slipped and hit up against it, um, you will definitely stand a chance of breaking those lenses. So, uh, one of the things that uh, I'm going to paddle out here and see if I can catch some of those fish. Um, one of the things that I will say too um, about the cost is that when initially I bought them, I mean, they're very expensive sunglasses in my opinion. Uh, the only reason I bought them is because I heard like, hey, Costa's got this great warranty plan, right? Awesome warranty. Um, and, you know, you'd hear stories about people just like dropping them or doing something stupid, you know, leaving them on the, you know, roof of a car and then driving off and leaving them. And, you know, Costa just replaced them, you know, no, no questions asked. Um, so apparently maybe that used to be the way that Costa did things, but I can tell you going through the warranty process now with Costa, that is not the way things are now. Uh, apparently at some point here in the recent uh, past, Costa has been purchased by, um, uh, Luxotic, I think, or Luxotica. Uh, it is a giant sunglass syndicate basically that, um, you know, they own Ray-Ban, they own the Sunglass Hut stores. Um, I bought mine from a Sunglass Hut location inside a Bass Pro Shop. And so what they're going to do if you break your glasses is they're going to offer you basically a, uh, a warranty, a, a repair option, which is about a hundred and I believe almost $125. Um, and if you go back to the Sunglasses Hut you bought it from, They'll just offer you a replacement where you buy a new pair of glasses for $150. But all this stuff about like, you know, regardless of, of whose fault it is, uh, you know, them just replacing sunglasses for free, that, that ain't the case anymore. I can tell you that for sure. So um, my advice is if you're buying a pair of, um, if you're buying a pair uh, of these Costas, first of all, I'll say amazing clarity. Like I can't even hardly stand to wear my Ray-Bans anymore. Uh, even though, you know, I think they're a much better looking sunglass or sunglasses. Um, uh, these, in my opinion, the clarity, the amount of, of relaxation your eyes have, even in bright sun and harsh conditions, just unparalleled. Like I've never had another pair of glasses I liked more, but these, these lenses, very, very fragile, very fragile. And if you break one and you have to get it replaced, you're looking at about $125, $150. I 
um, to get these things uh, to get these things replaced. Is that worth it to you? Maybe, maybe not. I, I can completely see why somebody would check out on that and just say this isn't worth it to me. Um, you know, my experience with going through their uh, automated um, you know warranty claim service was ridiculous. Um, you know, you had to present a receipt, you had to do all this other jazz. I mean, I, I, my opinion, it's better. You're better off just going back. Just go back to Sunglass Hut. Don't fart around with any of the stuff online because they're not going to help you out any more than if you just went back to Sunglass Hut, honestly. Uh, and it's going to take up your time and it's going to take longer. So uh, for, to save, what, about 25 bucks? So that's been my experience with Costas. Um, you know, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, you know, maybe I made a mistake by not going with the with the glass lenses, but you know, I did learn something from that though. And here's the one thing I will tell you: is when your sunglasses are not on your head, you put them in your case, no questions asked. I don't care how padded your your life jacket pocket is, your PFD pocket, doesn't matter. Your sunglasses can break. Keep them in a case. I've got a floaty on mine, just in case it you know worst case scenario these fall overboard, and. Uh, that's hopefully going to be insurance in the future so i don't have to make another claim and pay another 150 dollars to replace a pair of sunglasses all right kai plane's drifter out